Hi hey everyone, so today is Mother's Day and I just wanted to get on here to share a little video for you guys to kind of explain why I chose sonography as a career and what was the biggest challenge I had throughout the program and realistically I felt like today is probably the most appropriate day for me to share this with you guys. I always like to be honest with you guys, I like to be raw, truthful. So a big reason that I went into sonography was because my mom Growing up before I was born, she was a midwife nurse in Vietnam. I am a first generation Asian American immigrant, so I was very happy to um, kind of follow in my mom's footsteps, I guess. She always told me these stories about how she used to deliver babies and all this stuff. Like, she loved the medical field. Uh, unfortunately, when she came over to America, she did give up on those dreams as being in the medical field and decided to open up her own nail salon. My mom used to tell me a lot of stories about her midwife career and it just sparked such a big interest in me. Uh, I was always interested in the medical field ever since then. I was like, hmm, what if I took pictures of those babies if I didn't want to deliver them? I just kind of went for it. I didn't have a plan B. To be honest, if I didn't get into an ultrasound program, I might have done nursing or maybe even like x-ray or something. I feel like with nursing, that's like the first thing people think of when you go into the medical field. And so um, it's definitely also a high stress level job. I knew that I wasn't capable of being able to be so hands on and I guess like kind of dealing with blood and needle and all that type of stuff. I honestly felt like I needed a less stressful job. I hear people who go into nursing, you either super love or you super hate it. I, I kind of had my heart set on ultrasound and I just kind of went for it and I turned out pretty good at it. All right, so I get this question a lot. What was the biggest challenge I had to face during my ultrasound program? Of course, academically, the struggle was trying to find time to study. I had to learn a lot of self-discipline and uh, time management, scan time, study time, all that above. I also was going through a lot during the program as far as family health matters. This is the first time I'm opening up about this to such a big public platform. Like to this day, I still don't share it much to uh, many people just because it's a little hard for me to talk about. Uh. At the end of my first semester, um, my mom started getting some health conditions. She started getting some atypical appearance of things in her left breast. We couldn't quite figure out what it was. We done so many tests, imaging, and um, the doctor still couldn't quite figure out what, what was going on with her breasts. Long story short, my mom was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer. And if you don't know what inflammatory breast cancer is, it is a really, really rare type of breast cancer that is highly aggressive. It spreads very rapidly. This type of breast cancer is not seen on ultrasound, mammogram, any type of imaging modality. When it's time to be diagnosed, it's usually at the phase of uh, stage four. That's because when it's around stage four, that's when it starts having that, that appearance of abnormalities in the breast. Inflammatory breast cancer doesn't quite have that typical breast cancer look. It's not like a lump. It doesn't have quite the same symptoms and signs as regular breast cancer. Uh, that's why it's so hard to diagnose. Basically, she had a swollen breast. Um, it kind of has this little orange peel appearance, uh, inverted nipple, but it just looked very abnormal compared to the other one. At the time that they were trying to diagnose it, I was getting more serious in school. We were learning more of the anatomy and ultrasound appearances. I felt like because I was working in ultrasound, I feel like I was supposed to diagnose it and cure her and help solve the problem and I just felt so vulnerable during it I just didn't know what to do after two or three months it was diagnosed and of course it was at stage four there wasn't much for us to do besides trying like chemotherapy mastectomy radiation the typical thing that you do going through the program and knowing that your number one support system and number one inspiration is going through their own health issues and you can't do anything about it made me feel very vulnerable. Do I just focus on my mom? Do I quit the program? What do I do? My program was very, very, very understanding about what was going on. I communicated with them the whole time. Every single time she had an appointment, they were very understanding about it. It was honestly very hard to balance taking her to chemo 
and going to classes and studying and going to clinicals and uh, I had to really depend on my siblings at that time. Uh, I live with my sister and my brother lives about 15 minutes away from me with my parents and so we had to kind of work on this little schedule as far as like who takes mom to this treatment or who does this on what day. I am the only one who has uh, any medical knowledge so I was responsible for going to appointments with her. Reading it in a book compared to hearing it from a doctor that's referring all this information about your mom, it was just so, so hard for me, my brain to process. So also while I am at these appointments with my mom, I also had to be able to translate because my mom mainly speaks Vietnamese. She speaks a little bit English, but as far as those medical terms, I was the one responsible for translating. I also was responsible for understanding the appointment and being able to communicate that to all my other siblings. If you guys speak another language or your parents don't speak English very well and you know how it is having to translate for your parents. And also I am the youngest in the family and so it was just, it was just a lot. She actually was able to be there at my graduation and I was very grateful for that. She, at least she was able to see me fulfill my dreams and becoming a sonographer because she knew how important it was for me. And I'm, I'm honestly so grateful that God gave me the chance to have my mom there in the audience watching me graduate. Uh, I'm her last child and it was just a very fulfilling moment for me. I graduated May of 2019 and unfortunately my mom did pass away in August of 2019. So it's been about maybe like nine months since she's passed and to this day I'm, I'm probably just now getting comfortable even talking about that she was even sick. If you're going through something like this just kind of reach out to people that support you and love you. I didn't learn that until towards the end. I feel like I probably pushed away a lot of people. I am so grateful for all the people that were there for me. I appreciate all the support from you guys because although you guys see me in all my videos and I'm having so much fun throughout my program and I'm learning all this and that, um, I am also a regular person who deals with regular family drama, personal issues, and right now I'm just kind of learning self-love, self-care, and I'm learning to grow as a person and I feel like my mom is watching me from above and I just hope that she's very proud. I'm honestly shook at how much I went through. I survived getting through a extremely hard sonography program. I survived watching my mom go through hell with cancer. I am obviously still healing from it. I feel like since today is Mother's Day, I feel like it's my day to kind of speak my truth, kind of tell my story, and I hope you all appreciate that. I am a regular person too, and I know everyone else has their struggles. I just want to share that I'm a prime example that if you are going through stuff, it is 100% possible to still follow your dreams. I honestly hope that my story helps someone out there who's struggling with their own issues. Yeah, that's my life. Stay strong out there. So, I appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given me throughout the years. I'm still learning to heal, and I hope that whoever is struggling out there is able to heal too. Thank you so much, guys.